السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Let's go live, guys. And then I'll be with you in a minute. Hi, Ali. Ah, uh, this terrible noise again. Sorry for that. Can you put you? Can you put? Yes, we can. But um, can yeah, you put okay. yourself on mute, please? Thank you. Okay. Uh, just give me one minute to go live, and then I'll be with you. Okay. I'm sorry for people on Zoom, but <laughs> I need to set up that um, go live on Facebook thing. Just give me one minute. All right, there we go. We should be live in a few seconds. We should be there. We should be. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we're going live now. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum, people. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. And welcome to One Minute Collocations. Now, I've changed a bit uh, from making videos to going live so that I can give you the chance to, you know, interact with me and ask uh, any questions if you have any. So what about that collocation thing? We know one minute grammar. Uh, you have gotten used to that, hopefully. And we have one minute idioms. And, and most of you know idioms that they are words that are put together and they give you a meaning that uh, in most cases is different from the original meaning. How about collocations? What all collocations? Um, collocations are words that are put together and they are used together a lot. Right, and sometimes it'll be wrong to use them with other words. And let me give you an example. And that's our first collocation today, although it's not one of the collocations that I want to talk about. Um, um, for example, a a girl has hair and it's yellow. So we, do we say yellow hair? We don't say yellow hair. What do we say? So let let's see what what people know. Uh, good evening to you, William Scott. So we say she has blonde hair, not yellow hair. She has yellow hair would be wrong. Yes, exactly. Ali, thank you very much. She has blonde hair, exactly. So that's what collocations are basically. They are words that are used together that way. And why do we use them that way? Because, you know, native speakers of English use them that way. So that's it really. Waikum salam. How are you, Korshad? Um, okay. So why are we talking about collocations? Why are they so important? Uh, they, help be, they will help you in many ways. And then let me tell you about uh, four or five ways in which they can help you. Um, you, will, uh, you will be using the words more accurately. Uh, there is a mistake that many people make which is using do with the word mistake. So some people say, I did this mistake. The correct collocation should be, I, I made that mistake. I made a mistake, not I did a mistake. So now you will start using the language more accurately and you will sound more natural. So when you're speaking, people will not feel that, uh, his English is a bit weird. When, when she speaks, I don't really feel that she is natural when she speaks. Okay, so that's, that's, another, that's another benefit. For example, um, if you say of great importance, great importance is what we use in English. We don't say, for example, uh, of high importance. All right. So when you say great importance, when you say high importance, high importance is, is, no re is not really correct English. Right. So if you say people will still understand you, but we say great importance. Now, um, 
it will benefit you in your speaking or benefit you in your writing if you're taking the IELTS exam, for example, using correct collocations will help you uh, get good marks. Um, and let's get started. Today's lesson is about uh, talking about thoughts and ideas. So talking about thoughts is what I want to talk about today. And the first one I want to give you is the word think. The word think, the verb think is used with the adverb strongly. No, it's not used with strongly. Don't be wrong. So if you say strongly think, that's a mistake. So what do we say? Does anybody know? Now, let's get you to interact a bit with me, guys. What do we say? Any idea? The topic of the conversation. The topic of the conversation, uh, Korshad, is words that are used together. How to use words together correctly. Uh, I think maybe you came late. I stated that at the beginning of um, today's live stream. So words that are used together. How to use words together uh, correctly in English. Okay. So we say honestly think. Again, we say honestly think. So for example, I honestly think we can win the match tonight. So that's how we use it, honestly think. So we don't say strongly think, we say honestly think, honestly think. Now who can use the word, the words or the collocation honestly think in a sentence? Can anybody do that? Yes, no? Honestly think. Okay. Um, okay. So, okay. <laughs> you don't have any examples. All right. So just remember this honestly think. And let's move on to the second collocation. The second collocation today is I will give it some thought. I will give it some thought. Okay, first join the program. Yes, you can join me on Zoom. Go ahead and Zoom, please. So how do we use it? I'll give it some thought. We use it like this. I'm not sure if I want to invest in your business or not, but I'll give it some thought. I'll give it some thought means I will think about it. So I'll give it some thought. I will give it some thought. I'll give it some thought, meaning I will think about it, okay? This is how it's used. I'll give it some thought. So, so far we have two. We have honestly think and I'll give it some thought. And the third one in talking about thoughts today is bear in mind not not bear the animal but bear here is used as a verb and bear in mind means remember something okay remember something so bear in mind that there are often delays in flights during bad weather bear in mind meaning just remember that okay so how many have we taken so far? Can you remember? Are you counting? All right, there you go, Amal. I honestly think he will pass the exam. Very good. So I honestly think. That's the first one. Very good. Do you remember the second one? Second one, second one, second one. Second one was? Right, sure, Mahmoud Ali. Give it some thought. Okay, who can use it in an example? And the third one was bear in mind. Bear in mind that some thoughts and all. Some thoughts. We say give it some thoughts. Give it some thoughts. That's how we use it. Okay, so three so far. Let's move on to the fourth one. Now, this is really important. We say, it's common knowledge. It's common knowledge. Very good. Mahmoud Ali, bear in mind means remember. That was the third one. 
And the fourth one, the fourth one is, it's common knowledge. It's common knowledge that Jay Yin is looking for a new job. Common knowledge means everybody knows that. It's common knowledge that Jay Yin is looking for a job. So everybody knows that she is looking for a job. I honestly think, give it some thought, bear in mind, it's common knowledge. So how many so far are you counting? Four. We need to share us the screen. Oh, share. I, I'm not really, I don't, I'm not reading off the screen. It's just me on the screen. So I don't really have a PowerPoint or anything. It's just me talking. So um, I can write definitely uh, on the screen. That would be a good idea. So let's write them. Let's write as a text. So the first one, hopefully you can see the screen now. Honestly, think. Uh, I can't see. Honestly, think. And the second one was, give it some thought. And the third one, bear, number three, bear in mind. And the fourth one, who remembers? It's, it's common knowledge. It's common knowledge. Now we're about to take the fifth one. I have about 10, 12 for you today. So hang in there. Okay. Now the fifth one is grasp the importance of grasp 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 the importance of let me write it on the screen grasp the importance of so how do we use it it's like to understand how important something is so grasp the importance of something means to understand how important it is let me use it for you in an example my teenage my my teenage son hasn't yet grasped the importance of revising for exams. He doesn't understand still how important it is to revise for his exams. So that's number five. Okay. Are you with me? Do, do, we, do we have any comments? Common knowledge? You can see, okay, thank you. Much better. All right. Yeah, I agree that it's much better if we write on our screen. Now let's move on to number six. I don't wanna keep you for long. Now, even this keep you for long, this is a collocation, but it's not one that we're talking about today. Um, take the view. This is really important. Take, oops, take the view. Now take the view means believe, believe, take the view. I take the view that we are all responsible for our actions. I take the view that we're all responsible for our actions. So take the view. And let's go to number six, uh, number seven. Now, number seven is one that maybe you haven't heard of before, which is foregone conclusion. Foregone conclusion. Foregone conclusion. Foregone con con conclusions means it's absolutely certain. It's take it for granted. It's sure. We're 100% sure. Foregone conclusion. So let me use it for you in a sentence. It's a foregone conclusion that Jamie will win the race. It's really fast. We know it. It's a foregone conclusion. It's, it's absolutely certain. Now, I will stop here. If you were with me yesterday, I talked about a couple of idioms. Yesterday's video, I talked about a couple of idioms and they're, they're related to conclusions too. Now, if you really, really 
good. Or I would say if, if you attended yesterday's lesson and you remember them, then you can write them in the comments. They'll be great. Now, I give you two idioms yesterday in one minute idioms. If you remember them, please share them with us. Uh, those on Zoom, if you were in my class yesterday, you can unmute yourself and shout them out. Two idioms I taught you yesterday, I talked about yesterday. Does anybody remember them? Okay, shall I say them? Okay. Do you remember the guy who was holding the stick from the bottom? Okay. Okay, the two idioms that we talked about yesterday were, maybe you were not in class, he got the wrong end of the stick, means he reached the wrong conclusion. And the other idiom was put two and two together, means I guessed that based on the facts that I have. So these are two idioms that we took yesterday. Um, I believe some of you were with me yesterday. I remember some of these names. Okay, you did not attend. All right, all right. No worries, no worries. Here you go. These are two that uh, you can take with you tonight. But I'm, I'm afraid that I'm not going to write them in the chat box because, I mean, on the screen, because uh, they're not in today's listen. Now, let's continue. Uh, and number eight today is rough idea. Rough idea. Rough idea means general idea. That's what rough idea means, general idea. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I've got a rough idea. So I kind of know what I'm going to do. So we say rough, rough idea, rough idea. Um, let's go through them real quick again. Honestly think, give it some thought. Bear in mind, it's common knowledge. Grasp the importance. Take the view. Foregone conclusion. Rough idea. And number nine, we're almost there, almost there. Subscribe, not to my channel, you have to do that, to the theory. Subscribe to the theory. So what does subscribe to the theory mean? It means I hold the opinion. I hold the opinion. So I believe. So subscribe to the theory. Let me give you an example. I don't subscribe to the theory that nature and nurture are of equal importance, but it's now a widespread belief. Now, widespread belief. Let me give you this one. Wide. Spread belief. Widespread, widespread belief means generally held view. So this is what most people think. So now I'll say the last example again because we have two in it. So I don't subscribe to the theory that nature and nurture are of equal importance, but it's now a widespread belief. So many people think it, but I don't think that, okay? So I don't subscribe to the theory. Now, the last uh, two that we have today is when we say opinions, and this is one that we uh, use in IELTS a lot, opinions are divided. Opinions are divided. So we don't say opinions are separated, for example, <laughs> okay? We say opinions are divided. So what does opinions are divided mean? It means that uh, people have different views, okay? Opinions are divided means people, you know, have different views. Uh, some people believe that, some people believe this, you know. And let me give you number 12 as well, and then I'll put both of them in one sentence, which it is my, now look at this, firm conviction. Conviction means I believe in something. I totally believe it, okay? It's my firm conviction. So let me use the last two in one sentence. Opinions are divided as to whether mothers of young children should go out to work or not, but it's my firm 
be conviction, but it's my firm conviction that different things suit different families. Okay, so these are the collocations for today, for tonight. Um, if there were uh, too many, please let me know in the comments so that next time, inshallah, uh, we can, you know, give you uh, fewer collocations because, you know, I feel that <laughs> I bombarded you uh, with too many collocations for the night. Um, now, I have another part of the lesson, which is really, really nice. Now, I will give you some examples um, of those collocations, but they have some kind of error and I want you to correct them. So here's my first one. So I'll say that again. I will give you uh, some examples with those collocations used and I want you to correct them. Okay, make sense? So I will just read them because it might take a bit of time to top them up on the screen. Now, listen, opinions are separated on the issue of single sex schools and there are sound arguments on both sides of the case. Now you can unmute yourself and shout out the answer, please. Yes, please go ahead, Ali. I think uh, opinions are divided, not separated. Yes, thank you very much. Good job. You, you, you've been attentive for 90 minutes now, so congratulations. Yes. <laughs> very thank good. You. So I said opinions are separated on the issue. We don't say that. In English, we say opinions are divided. All right, so that was the first one. And seven more to go. Here is the second one. Now, listen well, listen very well. If you know the answer, very good, Muhammad. Muhammad Ahmad, very good. He got it on, on Facebook as well. So let's go to the second one. I believe that the government will win another term in office, but my friend takes a different opinion. I know this uh, was a bit long, so let me, let me say it again. I believe that the government will win another term in office, but my friend takes a different opinion. My friend takes a different opinion. Now listen to this. My friend takes a different opinion. Uh, okay, if you really quickly look at this screen. What is it, what is it, what is it? What is it? Ah, okay. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Ali, again, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think firm, uh, my firm con, uh, conviction. Um, okay, we, we can say that. We can say that. <laughs> but said, we're talking about opinion. We, yeah. Sorry, are we Mahmoud, we, Mahmoud, Mahmoud, yes, Mahmoud? please. Yes, yeah, yes. Can I speak? Go ahead, Mahmoud. Yes, Mahmoud. Yes, I'm speaking. Can you hear me? Uh, now we can. Go ahead. Okay. I think that we can use the opinions are divided because we have different opinions over here. So we can say that opinions are divided. Okay. We can as well, but let me change it slightly. We will say, yeah. but my friend takes a different... Take the view. Take another yes, view. Yes, takes a different yeah. view. Exactly. So I'll but, say it but, correctly but, now. Is, I believe is it that... Yes. Sorry, sorry. I believe, no worries. I believe that the government will win another term in office, but my friend takes a different view, not takes a different opinion. Now, can we say has a different opinion? Yes. So yeah. two ways of saying the same thing now. Has yeah. a different opinion or takes a different view. Yeah. All right. They're, they mean the same thing, but take is used with view and has is, your, is used with opinion. Now, third one out of eight, almost there. Hang in there, guys. Uh, number three, I strongly think that you'd be making a serious mistake if you take that job. I strongly think that you'd be making a serious mistake. Honestly. Uh, honestly. There you go. Honestly. Yes, both of you. Mahmoud yeah. and Ali. And you two guys, if, if you come to um, Zoom, you can shout out your answers as well. That'll be fun. All right. Thank you both. Uh, it is correct uh, to say I 
honestly think, I honestly think, or you can say, I really think, I really think, honestly think is, is a very good collocation. Now, number four, I don't believe it's a foregone fact that the large company will win the contract. I don't believe it's a foregone fact. Conclusion. Uh, can you say it? I A foregone conclusion. Yes. Yeah. I don't believe Not it's a, a foregone. I don't believe it's a foregone conclusion that the yeah. larger company will win the contract. Okay, number five again. People are generally getting aware of the problem of climate change. Now, this one uh, I have to correct for you because I didn't really write it amongst these. Uh, oops, we don't say we're not. We don't say getting aware. We say becoming aware. You become aware of a problem, not get aware of a problem. So. People are generally getting aware of the problem of climate change. You did answer it, Mr. Mohammed. So becoming yes, aware. I did. Okay, yes, exactly. So three months ago. You should bear in thought that your visitors will be tired after their long flight. You Again, should bear, you should bear in, mind, in you should mind. bear in mind. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Ali. And thank Very you, Mr. Enough. Mahmoud, as well. You're raising your hand. You can just shout out yeah. your answer. That's fine. I'll say it again. You should bear in mind, not bear in thought. You should bear in mind that people will be tired after a long flight. Please, Mr. Mohammed, we have like a, like a, a written mistake over here in number three that it's beat in mind. Can you oh, correct okay. it to be very yeah, much? Yeah. Thanks. Sure, sure. Oh, thank and you for that. I thank you for that. Honestly, we're helping honestly. each other. Don't, yeah. don't blame me. Don't blame me. Blame my keyboard. Keep my keyboard made the, <laughs> made the mistake, not me. No, so, okay. honestly, also, so Muhammad, honestly, honestly, can you recheck it? Number one. Honestly, as well. One, oh. Number one, yeah. Missing S, yes. Honestly. Okay. Then. Yeah, thank you very so much. Be now, number problem. seven. Yes, because it's recorded, so people will go out there, write in the wrong thing, and say, Mr. Shabi taught me that. Now, number seven. I've got a raw idea of what I want to say in my essay, but I haven't planned it properly yet. I'll say that again. I've got a raw idea yeah. of what I want to say in my essay. Rough idea? A rough idea, rough. exactly. Yeah, rough idea. I've got a rough idea of what I want to send my essay, but I haven't planned it properly yet. Now, number eight, the last one, is increasing numbers of people today subscribe for the theory that small is beautiful. And then subscribe to the theory. Subscribe yes, to the theory. subscribe to Ali. Mahmoud again. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't looked at Facebook for quite some time because I was busy reading the examples I had prepared for you. So uh, that brings us to the conclusion of, see, bring us to the conclusion of this video. That's a collocation as well. All right. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, hopefully you have taken a screenshot of this or you can always watch the video again to learn more about these collocations. So I'll see you next time in uh, collocations number two. Thank you very much, Mr. Ali, Mr. Mahmoud, and everybody uh, you, you know, on Facebook and on Zoom for being with us today. And I'll see you next time, guys. Mr. So, Mohammed, are you going to schedule the meetings? or? Yes, yes. I it? always schedule the meetings and put them on Facebook. Sometimes it's just showing now. Thank you, everybody. Uh, there are a few nice. people thank with me on much. Zoom, May but uh, I didn't have the chance to talk to them. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Bye bye. <laughs>